Uh, I'm president currently of the Irish Landscape Institute. Um, we have about 200 members and we would represent uh, graduates of landscape architecture and landscape horticulture in Ireland who are practitioners with the Professional Institute under the European Federation and the International Federation in Ireland. And I'm very pleased on behalf of the Institute to welcome you this morning and to thank the Irish Georgian Society, our co-organizers for this event. And this has been a very fruitful collaboration, judging by the attendance, which we're very encouraged by today. Thank you very much for coming and welcome to all of my um, fellow Institute members, IGS members, uh, colleagues, and interested friends in uh, parks in Dublin. Uh, we have an, a, a very good lineup of speakers and you've been given the speakers' biographies on the way in. And uh, in the Institute, we have been running a series of lecture events for a number of years which are open to the public. And I suppose this event was born out of some earlier lectures that the Institute had organized over the past year or so, we had sort of a synergy coming together of a number of lectures that, that started to um, raise this topic of the Georgian parks in particular. And uh, Joanna Brook kind of kicked off a lot of that interest with her excellent lecture that the Institute held at the beginning of that year's series. And Margaret Gormley, uh, also kindly gave a lecture for us and it was coinciding with the 250th anniversary of the Phoenix Park. So we were starting to get this, um, this interest growing uh, and promotion of the value of these public spaces through the series. And I'm delighted now that it has um, developed into this full-blown seminar today. So, um, sorry, we have wires coming down here. <laughs> um, what I wanted to say was, I think it's very important that we collaborate as a body of interested people on the subject and try to work together on promoting this more fully in Dublin and in Ireland. And it is something that the Institute intends to continue doing and I hope that we will um, see some further synergy with the Georgian Society and some of the members here today. And I see a few members from uh, colleague institutes such as the RAI and I'm delighted to see some planners from the IPI and others, and, I, and apologies if I've not named up some of the others, but uh, as chair of the Urban Forum this year, I'm delighted as well to see that sort of attendance from fellow institutes. And um, just to say that um, these public spaces are very precious and we need to ensure that the awareness is heightened of them to ensure that they're respected. We've had um, a series of, sorry, we've had a series of, I'm just going to get away from this podium for a moment because it's just <laughs> freaking me out. Um, <laughs> we've had, a, we've had during the Celtic Tiger a lot of discussion going on about these, these Georgian public parks and a lot of um, potential uses proposed including train stations and things being inserted into them and and a lot of people eyeing them up and, and possibly even confiscating them for uses that mightn't ultimately be to everyone's benefit. So it's very important that we go back to the roots of these public parks and look at public space and what is needed for public space in Dublin and that the uh, values of public space are respected because um, we're very fortunate because in a lot of cities the public parks movement really was more of a Victorian development and it was based on public health concerns. Whereas in Dublin we have a, a quite a long legacy of public space and it needs to be cherished and it needs to be resourced. So just to say that on behalf of my own profession um, and I'm sure some of you working in the field as well in other professions. So um, I just want to go back to my notes now that I can get near the podium. Um, I just want to um, thank all of the speakers today for all of the work. I know it takes a lot of work to prepare these presentations and thank you very much for all of this today and to the chair, uh, chair of the session and, uh, and also to my colleagues who will be giving you a um, walking tour of Herbert Park this afternoon. Uh, I'm just going to introduce now, first of all, Madame Alda Fitzgerald 
who is a native of London and since moving to Ireland in the 1970s, she has immersed herself in its life and culture. In 1999, she wrote and researched the Handsome Irish Gardens book, which highlighted the beauty of Ireland's country house gardens. And she's also written many articles um, about gardens, houses, people in Ireland for journals such as Harper's and Queen, World of Interiors and Vogue. So really getting the message out to a very wide audience. Um, I mean, we have our aficionados here in the room, but it is really important to get into the public consciousness, the sort of importance um, of Irish houses and gardens. She was married to the late Desmond Fitzgerald, the Knight of Glynn, uh, who was a, a president of the Irish Georgian Society. And she now divides her time between Glynn Castle and County Limerick, a fine Georgian Gothic house with an impressive walled garden, and Waterloo Road in Dublin City. And the proximity of her Dublin residence to Herbert Park means it's her local. And she does uh, avail of that, I'm told, quite frequently for her pursuits such as walking. And um, so uh, I, I'm sure she will also have plenty to uh, contribute to our tour today as, as a local perspective. And I see a few other locals in the room uh, and it's I'm delighted to see that. So, um, and just to introduce the, um, other, mention the other speakers today, you have the full bios, I won't read everything word for word, but uh, Margaret Gormley, who as I mentioned, spoke to us previously about the Phoenix Park as park superintendent. Declan O'Leary is chair, he's a landscape architect in private practice with 25 years experience. And he's also a former vice president of the Irish Landscape Institute. Dr. Todd Longstaff Gowan, who's a landscape architect based in London with an international practice and he's also president of London Parks and Garden Trust. Dr. Joanna Brook, who as I mentioned, kindly gave us a lecture earlier, who's in the School of Archaeology at University College Dublin and has been carrying out quite a specialist research on Victorian Edwin, Edwardian parks. Marion Cashman, who comes as a conservation architect, uh, but also as somebody who has uh, done the diploma in horticulture, so she uh, has a, a shared interests in both disciplines and is also an active member of the Georgian Society. And uh, Rob Goodbody, who is a consultant planner who has worked on um, many of the um, public spaces in Dublin. Uh, he's based in Dublin and he's worked in Britain and Ireland local authorities, uh, an author of several books, which you can read in the profile. Leslie Moore, who in the last year uh, joined Dublin City Council as city park superintendent and has been working to develop with different community groups approaches to the, uh, fresh approaches to the uh, Georgian squares and parks, and is also my boss, so thank you for letting me <laughs> be here today. Um, Nicola Matthews, who's also a colleague of mine in Dublin City Council, I've worked with her as a conservation architect um, and conservation officer. And uh, Dr. Mary Forrest, a former colleague of mine who's um, a lecturer for many years in horticulture in UCD, an author of many publications, uh, and researcher in a number of projects around Ireland. And another colleague of mine, uh, Michael Noonan, who's senior executive park superintendent uh, and manages this part of the city. So without further delay, <laughs> with that fantastic lineup of stars, I'll um, ask them, Madame Fitzgerald to please come to the podium. Thank you. 